And we're going to watch Steven's backstroke at about half speed. As you look here, you can see his left hand sometimes is kind of pausing at his side. Right arm looks good. Looks like he's doing a much better hand entry on that right side than he was on his left. Good flip turn, nice streamline. Again, you kind of tell how shallow he is, how quickly he's coming up. Hands break that surface almost as he's starting that pull. So that's one of the things we talked about with the underwater as well, making sure that that um, first stroke, the breakout stroke, is a little bit quicker. Let's go back and we're going to slow it down a little more. Okay, right here as he's going in, if you can look, you can still see how straight that arm is underwater. Really, if you almost go a straight line, you're going to just see. I mean, your arms are almost completely outside of each other. Make sure you get a little bit more bend in that underwater pole, okay? As we start that hand entry here, you're doing a much better job here. Thumbs are up. Fingertips are down. We like that. We'd like to see this shoulder right here come up a little bit higher. And so because your arm is so pulled, it's impossible to get that uh, shoulder roll that we really want to see. Make sure you get those hands up a little bit quicker. Make the hand right here. That will cause the pause to go away. And that will let you roll through that water a lot better. Okay? As we go through, we can see that we start that pull. And we never really see these shoulders come up. So we do want to see a little bit better of a shoulder roll all the way through on your backstroke. Uh, the other thing that we, that we look at here, and we're going to go ahead and just go through. That head stays nice and still. Okay? You want to keep that head nice and still all the way through like that. And that's really, really good, Stephen. And you can see some white water off your feet there, so that's good. The kick could be a little bit stronger. I do believe I'd like to see you try at some point maybe doing one less stroke into your pull because as you go into your turn here, you kind of see how you're almost having to flip as soon as you start that stroke. You want to be one more stroke away so when you turn over, you get a full pull and then a flip. So this turn was a little bit close. I think your underwater would look better than this one. But again, just make sure you know that stroke count all the way through. Okay. As you come over, you see as your feet are starting to come over right here, your feet are almost completely together. Remember, we want to see those feet about shoulder width apart. So separate those legs just a little bit. All right, so you've got just a little bit of there. We want to see it more here to here. Okay, so make sure those feet get a little bit wider. It's a little bit more powerful once you hit that wall. And again, like I said earlier, you kind of see you look really, really shallow. You look right, right there. Right here is where you should be starting that breakout. You're still doing one, two more kicks, and then you start that breakout. Your hand is completely all the way down to your elbow above the water, which is because you're coming on an angle like this instead of just a nice gradual angle coming above that water. So make sure it's not quite so perpendicular as we come above that water, okay? And see how you have to drop that hand? So it's up above the water, then you have to drop it, and then you're able to get into your stroke. And again, you can kind of see right here, your hand pauses because this, this hand pauses because this hand is still way too far below that water. So make sure you get a little bit faster hand movement, get those hands to your hips so you get that shoulder roll a little bit better, a little bit quicker. Your kick in the very beginning looked good. This time, this time through, we had a little bit less kick as we're coming off that wall. Watch those legs a little bit more as we come off that wall. Let's get more white water um, coming off those feet. Okay, you kind of see they're a little low. So you got your hips a little low in that water. Get them up a little higher and you'll be fine. Good job, Stephen. Thanks.